really healthy fats are the most common nutritional deficiency in the American diet. Most people are not eating enough healthy fish or healthy nuts, etc. And in using a fish oil, we take care of one of the most common nutritional problems that you can find. So the best fish oils, known as EPA and DHA, have been found to be helpful in terms of decreasing inflammation in the body, and most importantly, especially with DHA, decreasing risk of heart attack and preventing stroke, helping with overall brain health. These fish oils are part of every cell membrane in your body and are vital to your health. Now, if you eat more than three servings of cold water fish per week, you probably don't need a fish oil supplement. However, most of us don't do that. The quality of fish in our world today has become under such scrutiny that it's almost difficult to recommend that many servings of fish because of so many problems with contaminants, pesticides, and heavy metal toxicity. It's sad for me to even say something like that, but it is true that most of the people in the world do not have access to healthy fish. So how do we get healthy EPA and DHA into our body? Most importantly, do not be fooled by other supplements that say you need extra sixes and nines. You get plenty of those. You need fish oils, not these supplements that put in so many other things that you can't get these optimal levels of EPA and DHA. So, you hear trials over the last couple of years saying that EPA and DHA don't help heart disease. They are intentionally made with low levels of fish oils, maybe a thousand milligrams, which cannot work for you. I've been telling people for well over 15 years that you need at least 2,500 milligrams a day of EPA and DHA to get the physiological effects necessary to give you the benefits that are studied that these research, the good research shows. Now, doctors also have the ability to use an omega-3 index and, and to tell whether you're getting adequate fish oils. So does your doctor order a test called the omega-3 index looking at your red cell membrane to make sure you're getting enough fish oils? That's how you can tell you're getting enough fish oils. You can actually measure it in your bloodstream. So come to quality. Everybody who's seen me knows that, the, that I call most fish oil supplements rancid fat pellets of death, and that's what they are. I have bitten into so many fish oil supplements that make me nearly violently ill, and people take it thinking that it's healthy. That's the scariest thing. When people get fish oil supplements from the big box stores, from their local drug stores, etc., they are usually buying fats that have been gone bad because they've been around for maybe a few hundred years. Now, I'm exaggerating a little, but we don't know. And so you need to get good fish oils from high quality sources. And another very key thing, when we give the fish oil supplement to, to you, it's going to be something called Orthomega, which is not only the right level of EPA and DHA, but it comes in the triglyceride form, the form that's bioavailable in the body. Most fish oils have these things called ethyl esters. For a whole variety of reasons, most fish oil supplements in this ethyl ester form are not the kind that are bioavailable, the kind that you can absorb into your body. And the bake breakdown products of these ethyl esters actually can be harmful to your health. So the right way to get a fish oil is getting the Orthomega, take at least one capsule twice a day, or if you can't remember that, two capsules once a day, and you'll be getting one of the most important macronutrients, nutrients that provide cellular health to every cell in your body by taking a good omega-3 supplement.